Hi, I'm Dan, the product lead for Android Health. And I'm Sarah. I'm an Android developer relations engineer, and I work on wearables, health, and fitness. In this session, we'll dive into everything new with Android Health this year. Today, we'll be covering exciting new announcements for health on Android, both for Health Connect and health services, exactly how some of these changes work, and we will highlight work from the developer community within the Android ecosystem. But before we get into the details, let's take a look back at where we've come from. Our mission is to build innovative products that improve our users' health, fitness, and wellness journeys. Today, we're enabling billions of Android users to be healthier through better access, storage, and control of their health data. As a core value, users should be able to track their health and fitness data in a seamless way, and they should be able to control what data they share, with whom, and when to stop sharing this data. Whether that's choosing to track a run on a wearable or share data about their sleep between their favorite mobile apps. We want developers to have a simple, less fragmented way to enable this, to create an ecosystem of transformative health experiences. The Android Health team works on health products across both Android wearables and phones. Wearables generate personalized data for a user to track their favorite workouts and monitor their health. But previously, to enable wearable health tracking, developers had to work directly with low-level sensors and set up different configurations for different devices. And users want to seamlessly share data from wearables or other sources between their favorite mobile apps to create a holistic view of their health data. But previously, this required developers to build API integrations with multiple individual partners who could each have different permission structures and data formats. However, in the past few years, there's been a lot of exciting progress to make this easier. In 2021, we launched a new version of Wear OS built jointly with Samsung and have brought several new devices onto the platform, including Google's own Pixel Watch. We also launched health services to allow Wear OS apps to track many health and fitness metrics, such as heart rate, steps, sleep, and more, using a power efficient and consistent API surface. And last year, we launched Health Connect, an on device health data store that provides APIs which enable users to store and share data between their favorite Android apps, including Samsung Health and Fitbit. And this year, we've been hard at work continuing to improve our Android Health offering. So now onto our updates. First, we'd like to share some exciting changes for Health Connect. And Sarah's got a quick overview of how we got to where we are today. You may already be familiar with Health Connect, which is currently available in open beta on the Play Store. Health Connect is an on-device data store that provides APIs for storing and sharing health and fitness data between Android apps. It reduces fragmentation for users. They have a single place to control data permissions, and they can share their health and fitness data between their favorite integrated apps. And Health Connect reduces fragmentation for developers too. It has a set of over 50 data types and a single permissions management framework, meaning just one code base to integrate with. We built Health Connect in close partnership with Fitbit and Samsung Health, so it has been designed to work seamlessly with both of these apps, as well as the more than 50 apps in our developer ecosystem. We're happy to see the adoption of Health Connect continue to grow with many more apps coming soon. Now back to Dan for the updates. Thanks, Sarah. Health Connect is currently available as an open beta on the Play Store. Today, we're very excited to announce that starting with the release of Android 14 later this year, Health Connect will be a core part of Android and available on all Android mobile devices. No separate download required. We also recognize how important it is for Health Connect to be flexible and keep up to date with the latest changes in the health and fitness landscape. So we'll be delivering this through Google Play system updates, which allows Health Connect to be updated frequently. Starting with the Android 14 release, users will be able to access Health Connect directly from settings on their device. This will help users easily share data between their favorite integrated apps, and it gives them a single place to control which apps have permissions to access their health data. For developers, this means that there has never been a better time to launch your Health Connect integration, and that users can look forward to a more seamless health experience. We've also been hard at work on new Health Connect features, which will be available with Android 14 release. For example, a new exercise routes feature which will allow users to share GPS maps of their workouts between apps, and improvements that can make it easier to track reproductive and menstrual health. And for our existing Google Fit developers, with Health Connect coming to the Android framework, 
it's a great time to consider migrating from the Google Fit Android APIs to Health Connect APIs. The Health Connect API structure is similar to Google Fit's Android API structure, and Google Fit supports reading and writing for most of the same data types through Health Connect. And just as a reminder, as we announced at I.O. last year, the Google Fit Android APIs will be supported until the end of 2024. Check out the migration guides in our documentation for more information about how to do this. Before we get into the details of all the things Dan mentioned, we have some health services updates too. We've been continuing to work on health services, our API surface for accessing sensor data on Wear OS devices, to make sure that you can support more of the use cases your users care about while still giving them the battery life they need. Health services is supported on all Wear OS 3 devices, despite each of these having different capabilities and sensors. Health services provides a consistent API surface across them all. This means that developers can write code once and run it anywhere. As the algorithms in these devices continue to advance, we've been continuing to make these new capabilities and metrics available in health services to ensure that you get the latest and greatest. We're expanding to support even more use cases for your users. In our latest release, we've added functionality to allow developers to increase the batching rate of fitness metrics. Health services gathers high-frequency data, but delivers it in periodic batches when the screen is off to save battery. This works well for most use cases, but some use cases require shorter batching intervals. Starting with heart rate data, with the new batching modes, you adjust the data delivery frequency to fit your use case. And on supported devices, we've added a new feature to automatically detect the number of golf shots. The new version of Wear OS arrives later this year. Wear OS 4 will be the most performant yet, delivering improved battery life for the next generation of Wear OS watches. We will also be releasing additional health services updates with this change. We're improving our golf tracking. Supported devices will allow apps to detect the size of the swing. For example, if it's a short swing, like a putt, or a full swing, like a drive. We developed this in collaboration with Samsung to allow apps to build seamless automatic tracking and scoring while on the golf course. Wear OS 4 also comes with some permissions changes. We'll be including an additional permission to differentiate accessing body sensors in the background from the foreground. For example, if your app tracks heart rate in the background while the user is not actively using your app, this new permission will apply. This helps users stay in control of their health data and helps you access the data you need to create valuable experiences for them in a power efficient manner. Now, we will deep dive into a few of the new features for Health Connect and health services. We will take a look at some code to implement some new features, like exercise routes in Health Connect. Let's say your app tracks a user's workout, like a bike ride. You'll likely want to create a GPS track of the route that the user took for their ride. If you have a Wear OS app, you can use health services to gather high-frequency location data for the user's ride. Here's what the code would look like to configure tracking for a biking exercise. As you can see, we are requesting location data and using the biking exercise type. We can add other metrics like heart rate and distance as well. I won't go into all the details of how to build this, but we have a health services exercise app code sample, which we just updated with Compose for Wear OS that you can check out to learn more. Once you've tracked the route data, whether it's from a watch, like the example I just shared, or another device, you can write this data into Health Connect. As Dan mentioned before, the Exercise Routes feature will be launching with Android 14, which allows users to share maps of their workouts with other apps. Users can give an app permission to write route data as part of an exercise session, and then other apps can give the user the option to import route data from Health Connect. Users always remain in control and can approve or deny each route import. To add this capability to your app, first start with requesting write permissions. You do this largely the same way you would request other permissions in Health Connect. Each data type, like exercises, heart rate, or steps, has a distinct read and write permission. This gives the user full control over what they want to share with each app. Here's the permissions UI that Health Connect provides to allow a user to manage these permissions. And here's the permission you'll need to declare to write exercise routes. Note that you also need to declare an exercise permission, as each route will be associated to an exercise session. A session is each workout. 
To check permissions, you first want to build a set of all the permissions you're interested in for both reading and writing. Then make a request with the permissions launcher, including that set. If the permissions are already granted, you can proceed. If not, Health Connect will launch the permissions UI that I showed earlier to the user. To insert a route, first create your route object. Each route is a list of locations saved within a window of time. Once you've created the list of locations, build the route, passing in that list that we just created. Here's an example of how to insert this data. As you can see, we're tying this to an exercise session, our bike ride. The exercise session groups together all the related data from that activity so that another app can easily read it back. What if your app wants to read an exercise route? For other data types, you can request read permissions in the same way as write permissions. But for now, the read permissions for an exercise route are slightly different in order to ensure that users have complete control over this data. Instead of using the central permissions launcher, your app will need to use an intent to confirm that the user would like to give the app permission to read in this specific route. In the intent, you will need to pass in the session ID to receive the serialized exercise route back. Once we have our worker app reading or writing exercise routes, we could consider adding additional data types to improve the insights for our users. For instance, cycle tracking can give users rich insights into their health, and many factors can impact the menstrual cycle, including shifts in exercise, sleep, and stress. So your app could allow users to pull in this data as well. And we've continued to improve our offering in this area. We've added an intermenstrual bleeding data type and permission. We've improved the accuracy of our reproductive healthy nums, and we've refined how Health Connect tracks menstruation periods. Remember, Health Connect data is encrypted and stored on the user's device, and the user has full control of which apps they trust to share it with. We could add this data type or any others to our app following a similar flow. We have a great community of developers in the Android health ecosystem across both health services and Health Connect. We wanted to show how a few of the Health Connect partners are using health on Android to unlock exciting new experiences for their users. Health data is interconnected. Sleep, nutrition, activity, reproductive health, and more all inform one another. Health Connect allows apps to easily incorporate new data to give users this interconnected experiences without building out many new API integrations. For example, Peloton is using Health Connect to let their users easily share their Peloton workouts with other apps. Before Health Connect, there was not always an easy way for their users to share their rides or other workouts to their favorite health app. Now that Peloton is integrated with Health Connect, it's really simple for their workouts to be shared with any other health app that is integrated. One app that has been making use of this is Aura. Aura makes a smart ring that helps users understand a holistic picture of their health. Aura's personalized approach aims to empower members to improve their daily well-being and long-term health. Here's how it will work. Let's say a user does a high-intensity Peloton cycling class. That is then written into Health Connect. Aura will read this workout from Health Connect, allowing users to seamlessly have a full view of their workout data in the Aura app. And Aura will add this cycle ride to the calculation of the user's readiness score and make personalized suggestions for their next workout. If Aura determines that their body is tired from the cycling class, the next day they might suggest a lower intensity workout, like one of the stretching or walking workout classes in Peloton. Another example is sleep tracking. Sleep data is a core pillar of a user's overall health, along with nutrition and exercise, which are all intertwined. A user might want to share this data with their other health and fitness apps so that their sleep data can inform recommendations around exercise and nutrition and vice versa. Aura is not just reading exercises from Health Connect, they're writing sleep as well. Aura is writing in all sleep data like sleep stages and sleep duration, as well as heart rate and heart rate variability into Health Connect. This allows users to share this valuable sleep data from their Aura smart ring with their other favorite integrated apps. This sleep data can be used to generate new insights in other apps, like Lifesum. Lifesum is a nutrition app that aims to improve users' lives through healthy eating simplified. Lifesum has been using Health Connect as a way to rapidly expand their partnerships. So they worked with Aura to add new capability to read in sleep data from Health Connect. Lifesum's goals for allowing their users to track sleep data are to educate their users about how their dietary choices impact their sleep and vice versa, and help their users reach their health goals by giving them insights that they can act upon. 
LifeSum has added richer insights for their users based on sleep data. For example, using the sleep data, LifeSum can provide insights about how users' food intake correlates with their sleeping habits. Sleep data can also be used by fitness apps like WebGym. WebGym is an exercise app based in Japan. They are reading in sleep data from HealthConnect to suggest exercise routines based on sleep habits, which could not be done with WebGym's tracking alone. For example, if the user has not had quality sleep, WebGym will recommend a lighter exercise like stretching rather than aerobics during the day and relaxing content before going to bed via push notification. Another example of apps working together to unlock new capabilities with HealthConnect is continuous glucose monitoring. Dexcom is a worldwide leader in continuous glucose monitoring, with more than 1.7 million people using their innovative continuous glucose monitoring systems. To empower users to take control of their health, Dexcom is writing glucose data into HealthConnect, so users can choose to share their CGM data with other apps. MyFitnessPal is a leading food and nutrition tracking app. They built out an integration with HealthConnect last year to allow users to share nutrition from MyFitnessPal's database of food and read in workout data from other apps. They've added an integration to read in glucose data to help users understand how what they eat impacts their glucose levels. They will show members their blood glucose readings on the same screen as food diary entries for the day, allowing them to more easily draw insights about how the foods they eat impact their glucose levels. Ubi is an app in Japan, used to search for related medical conditions based on symptoms and then guide the user to appropriate care. Ubi allows the user to pull in their glucose data to provide better guided feedback to the user and provide more detail about their symptoms to healthcare providers. To achieve this for their users, these apps did not have to build out many new API integrations. They just had to add a few more data types to their existing HealthConnect integration. And apps are not just unlocking new capabilities for their users with the data they get from HealthConnect, they're saving developer resources as well. For example, Withings, a company that creates clinically validated smart health devices, reduce 50% of their data sync code by streamlining their health and fitness API integrations with HealthConnect. They were able to save time, tech debt, and complexity by migrating to HealthConnect. To recap, we have some exciting things coming up in Android Health. For health services, it is available on more devices than ever, and we've added API functionality to enable new user experiences, like APIs to get faster access to data or automatically counting golf shots, with more coming soon. And HealthConnect is moving out of open beta on the Play Store and will be built directly into settings on Android phones, starting with Android 14. Look out for new features that are coming with the Android 14 launch and continued updates afterwards via Google Play system updates. If you would like to create a more interconnected health experience for your users, we encourage you to adopt HealthConnect. And if you're a Wear developer, make sure you're using health services to get the best battery performance and future-proofing for all upcoming Wear OS devices. Check out our documentation and code samples to get started. We're hoping many more of you will join us in bringing unique experiences to your users with Android Health this year. Thank you for listening.